And hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video okay, of open foam. Now, uh, I think about two or three years ago now, I have uh, made a video of open foam and Paraview for Windows 10 installation. Okay, this is kind of outdated by now, as you would have known. Uh, the installation instructions now are very different. Okay, so uh, we are installing one of, uh, well, I think two or three main branches of open foam let me dismiss this well we are installing uh the open foam.com version okay this is the esi version you see the company logo here called esi so if you want to install the open foam esi version yeah you come here uh there are two more versions of open foam there's open foam uh, 4 point something or whatever uh that that one has uh, a different set uh and there's also open foam org that's the open form version 7 version 8 version 9 so there are many different kinds of open form uh, so uh yeah that this one is by the open form foundation it's not esi yeah this is an open form 9 it's a different way of installing as well um the core of both what's the difference the core i mean the core of them uh they're very similar uh but after a while, uh, like for more advanced stuff, they start to diverge. Okay, like uh, when you talk about things like, oh, chemical, uh, chemi uh, you want to simulate a fire or something like that. Uh, then you'll, you'll have different, uh, more advanced solvers. But for very basic level, um, they're more or less the same. But very basic uh, things, they're more or less the same. They have a lot in common, but, you know, uh, yeah, I won't be touching the openform.org version i'll be using the openform.com version okay this is why why do i call openform.com this is because the website here is openform.com okay so this is just an update 2022 here we go to install uh, openform okay first thing first uh, we'll want to start by installing windows subsystem for linux and how do you start with that okay open powershell uh on your uh, Windows, uh, yeah, just start, just press the start button and search for PowerShell. Okay, um, one thing about uh, Open Form and Linux and all everything, you got to be really, really much more comfortable with the command line. I know this is very scary for many of you, so we'll go through this as slowly as we can, but uh, sooner or later, we will have to start using a lot of things with the command line. Okay, so this is the 2022 version of installing Linux on Windows with Windows Subsystem for Linux. And we'll be installing WSL2, Windows Subsystem for Linux 2. And we'll need to start by running uh, this in an administrator PowerShell. Okay, this is not administrator PowerShell. This is just PowerShell as per normal. So you're going to go to PowerShell, right click and run as administrator. Okay, so you should be able to uh, get this window pop up if you are doing the right thing running an, as administrator and your root directory when you start well, what is root directory well um, I don't think okay your home directory let's call it the home directory your home directory is like the default directory where you start off okay it will be Windows system 32 that's how you tell this is administrator and yeah you, you can basically see uh, that okay all right so um okay i would i would say yes uh you can just start off straight away but uh yeah i i i want to make this a little better because it's really hard on my eyes so i'm going to change the font size and do something nice for uh to uh get make things a bit more convenient okay i'm going to use the Control shift c and Control shift v as copy and paste so uh, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I like to use this. Okay, I'm going to change the font to make it bigger. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll use a nicer font because uh, I, I really, really want to take care of my eyes at this point in time. And then uh, I also want to change the uh, colors. So what kind of colors am I talking about? Okay, what kind of colors am I talking about? Uh, so I want to uh, change maybe my screen background colors. Okay, so screen background colors, I want to change it to maybe black. And I want to change the screen text colors to maybe something like green. Maybe a bright green. Okay, now I'll click OK. 
I don't know why it didn't change, but screen background should be black. And maybe I'll need to uh, open and close up as well. Terminal colors, use separate background. Maybe, why is it not doing what I want it to do? Okay, pop up text, pop up background. Okay, so screen colors should be green. So let me close. Let me open PowerShell again. Yes, so much nicer. Okay, so let's let me go to Windows. Uh, I need to run this as administrator. Yeah, this is much nicer to look at. So again, not necessary that you have to do all these things. It's just uh, you know, creature comforts. Okay, I just want to make sure my eyes are like taken care of. But um, yes, so we will need to usually just install Windows subsystem for Linux. So if you didn't get any uh, anything in the last past few minutes, just forget it. This is the important thing. Okay, Windows subsystem for Linux double double dash install. Okay, just uh, well, there's a copy button here. Just click copy and paste, and this will install Windows subsystem for Linux. I'm going to use Control Shift V to paste it here, and you'll see WSL dash dash install. Or you can type it out manually as well wsl install okay so start getting used to the terminal uh if you don't know how to navigate don't worry yet we will try to walk through that later on okay press enter and it will just uh, do all of this thing uh so by default we will uh, be using ubuntu as you can see we're actually downloading ubuntu ubuntu is one of the most common linux distributions out there but it's not the only one uh I, for one, personally don't really use Windows or Ubuntu for that matter. Uh, I use uh, Arch-based or um, Arch-based Linux, um, and that, that's my preference. But if you don't know what all these are, don't worry about it first. We'll get, uh, we'll start with something really small. Okay, so this thing is downloading Ubuntu, and for some reason, it starts at 34.6%. I don't know whether my internet is down or something like that. You, I, I can check, uh, I can check. Uh, maybe uh, hello, yeah. Okay, yes. So it's working, and Adele's ah whatever song is there. Oh okay. I just press enter and suddenly the thing's working again. So, and it says what uh, requested operation is successful. Changes will not be effective until system is rebooted. So, thing is uh, I will need to. Uh, actually uh, start rebooting the system unfortunately if I press WSL now it will not uh, it will not do anything very much okay so it's installed WSL and now the steps uh, I need are to just reboot the thing so let me just uh, stop recording now I will reboot the computer and I'll see you back when the thing is rebooted